So the so today the topic that we are going to study about is the barcode reader and the scanner. In the last class we discussed about the input and the output devices. That what are the input devices and what are the output devices? That the, the, uh, the devices that are used to provide data or information to the system are known as the input devices, and that are used to gain data or information from the system are known as the output devices. Now coming towards another type of the input devices that the barcode scanner and the readers. These barcode scanners and readers are simply in the digitalized form, or you may say these are in the form of the bars, and you are going to simply scan them with the help of the scanners, the barcode scanners or the barcode readers that are known as. Okay, now when it comes to the barcode, so barcode is having three types of the lines or three types of the guard lines. This line basically informs you the left hand, sorry, the right hand side of the barcode, and this side tells you or this line tells you about the left hand side of the bar. This is basically also known as the ending line at where your barcode is going to end and this is also known as the starting line that from where your barcode is going to start. This is basically known as the middle line that differentiate between both sides of the barcode, the right hand side and the left hand side. Now if you can see over here, this is a barcode given to you guys. This is the starting. This one is the ending and this line, if you can see over here, this is the middle. Now your barcode is basically divided into two sides, the left hand side and the right hand side. Always remember when it comes to each and every number over here, these are the numbers given over here. Always remember, first of all, that a barcode may contain up to how many digits? 30 digits. That means it might contain or it may contain the information that can gather up to 30 digits. And each digit is basically represented into seven segments. If you can see over here, the zero, the, the right hand side of the zero is given over here and the left hand side of the zero is represented over here. Now you might see that how many segments are there for a zero on the left hand side. It's one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. Similarly, on the right, uh, right hand side, you might see one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. You do not need to learn this, that how you're going to just uh, represent a zero in a barcode. If the question comes, then it will be given to you. If you barcode, so ye pehle se aapko given ho although aaj tak kabhi barcode banane ke liye nahi aaya good enough now you may see that on the left hand side that for uh, for representing a zero the first three segments are white then two are black then there is a white and then there is a black and if you are going to see the right hand side of similar zero you may see that first three are white then two sorry first three are black then two white then a black and then a white that means it's just the opposite of the right hand side. I see it. Sorry, left hand side. Right hand side is basically the opposite of a left hand side. It's the opposite numerics given. Now it asks you that they have represented a barcode over here that contains the values 5, 4, 3, 0, 5, and 2. How many digits are there? There are six digits. Now these six digits can be divided into left hand side, that means half of three on the right and three on the left. Obviously starting from the left hand side, five, four, three will be on the left hand side. You might label that as well and this will be on the right hand side. Okay. Now for the five on the left hand side, how are you going to represent a five on the left hand side? First one is white, then two are black, then three white and one black. Then two are black, then three white, then one black. So we are going to see. First one is white, two are black, three are white, and the last one is black again. Or is a choti si line up us to represent that your five has been ended up over. Similarly, her eight digitically is it as a utilizer. Now this was the five for the left hand side. Again, the five is over here, but it's for the right hand side. So for the right hand side, you might see over there, first one is black, then two white, then three black, and the last one is white. First one is white, sorry, first one is black, 
then two white, then three black, and the last one is again white. Clear? Are you clear, sir? No issues. Any issue till over here? Good enough. Now they are saying that what happens? Okay, sorry, I just missed the activity. It's activity given over here using the data and figure five point six design the bar codes. So kindly, for, uh, before coming to the last class, draw these bar codes in your copy. Ready to do them? Rega, आप लोगों का सुबह बार क्या बार बुला रहे हैं नहीं बार इनके बाद भी होगा. So what happens when a bar code is scanned? Now what is going to happen if the bar code is scanned? Now what happens? There is a red color LED light that is striped basically on the bar code. ऐसा ही है एक red color की LED light होती है that is basically striking on the bar code और वो strike होने के बाद आपके पास जितना भी data होता है वो आपके पास को scan करेगा. Now what is that process and how is that process being performed? So number one, the bar code is first read by the red laser or the red LED that is light emitting diode. एक laser light होती है LED light होती है red color की जिससे आप उसको strike करते हैं and you are going to read that data. Light is reflected back of the barcode. The dark areas reflect little or no light, which allows the bars to be read. That means the dark areas, and the black areas, then that are going to absorb the light. वो आपके पास क्या करेंगे? Light को absorb कर लेंगे. That means कि आपके पास बहुत थोड़ी सी light को या तो वो reflect back करेंगे, या काफी ज़्यादा light को भी reflect back. Oh, sorry, या बिल्कुल भी light को reflect back नहीं करेंगे. White areas, they are going to reflect back the light. The reflected light is read by the sensors, photoelectric cells. Now there are the photoelectric cells over there. Photoelectric, यानी कि आपके पास ऐसे cells जो basically काम कर रहे हैं through light. तो जब आपके यहाँ light reflect back होती है, तो आपके पास क्या होता है? वहाँ पे आपके यहाँ data similarly पूरा का पूरा data आपके यहाँ कहाँ print हो जाता है? आपके यहाँ print हो जाता है किसके अंदर? आपके systems के अंदर. As the laser or the LED light is scanned across the barcode, a pattern is generated which is converted into the digital data. This allows the computer to understand the barcode. वही बात जब भी मैंने करी, लेकिन digitalized form के अंदर वो किस तरह से convert करता है? For three, it is representing three of the left hand side. So three of the left hand side. First one is white, then four dark, then one white, and then dark. So you might see over here. First one is light, then four dark, then light, and then dark. So this is how it is representing over here. Okay, clear? So the moving ahead, apart from the barcode, what are the other input and the output devices that you do require when you are at the POS? POS का मतलब क्या होता है क्या point of sales terminal. That means a particular place जहाँ पे आप लोग cash की dealing कर रहे होते हैं और you guys are going to scan the products and all. So number one they are saying keypad. What are the keypads required for? Typing. कोई ऐसे प्रोडक्ट्स हैं आपके पास डेट आर नॉट गोइंग टू बी स्कैन या आपके पास उसका डाटा नहीं आ रहा है तो आप गोइंग टू सिंपली टाइप डेट पर्टिकुलर बार कोड ओवर दे स्क्रीन एंड द मॉनिटर्स व्हाट आर दे यूज़ फॉर इनफॉरमेशन अबाउट डेट पर्टिकुलर प्रोडक्ट जो भी आपके पास जिस भी प्रोडक्ट को आपने स They are going to produce a beeping sound. But if the barcode is scanned correctly, then there is a different sound. And if the barcode is not scanned correctly, then there is a different sound. So there is a very minor difference in between both of the sounds. क्या आपके पास scan सही से हुआ या नहीं हुआ? Obviously, you guys won't be able to understand that apart from the person that is handling the cash, जो उसका daily का यही काम. Okay? After the speaker, there is a printer. Yeah. What are the printers used for? लिखा हुआ है तो प्रिंट आइटम आइस पेल ओके मैग्नेटिक स्ट्रिप रीडर्स डेबिट कार्ड को किस तरह से स्कैन करेंगे ओके सो ऑन द डेबिट कार्ड देयर इस अ ब्लैक कलर स्ट्रिप ओवर है माइंड भी बाइज़ अस इन दैट एक ब्लैक कलर की आपके पास ये स्ट्रिप होती है। This is known as the magnetic strip. What is that known as? The magnetic strip. Now this magnetic strip 
is basically is scanned or sorry is basically read or scanned here by the help of the magnetic strip reader aapke paas ek magnetic strip reader hota hai for example the card readers jo aap logon ke paas hote hain they are going to read that particular magnetic strip aur ye wo strip hoti hai iske andar aapka the tamam data maujood hota hai okay now the touch screens they might be either the input devices or they might be either the output devices as well they can they are the hybrid devices basically kyunki at the mean time ye dono tarike ka kaam kar rahe hain okay now moving ahead so the barcode has been read now what happens the barcode to read ho gaya ab kya hoga aap how it is going to give you the details of that particular data or particular item see the barcode number is looked up in the stock database obviously when it comes to the supermarket and all the yahan pe aapke paas kya hota hai huge amount of the stock hota hai so the barcode is always unique kya cheez hai aapke paas unique each and every product is having a unique barcode so that barcode is, go is going to be looked at in the stock details stock details ke andar us pe barcode ko dhoondega nahi ho sakta ye likha hua the key field in the stock item record the barcode is known as the key field key field means the primary field primary field means that it will always be unique same nahi hoga har jab har product ka alag alag generated hoga उसकी तमाम डिटेल्स को ढूंढा जाए The price and the other stock item details are sent back to the checkout at the POS. After that, just like scan, that just like after that, the screen terminal is. On the other side, all the data is product related. Comes out that what is the batch number, what is the manufacturing number, what is the manufacturing date, what is the expiry date, and all. So, the main thing after that, what is the POS? Point. The number of the stock item is recorded is reduced by one each time the barcode is read. For example, I am going to scan a. Pencil and right now I was having hundred pencils at the time. Once the barcode has been scanned, there will be a minus one and now the current current number of the pencils will be ninety nine. Because just see, you have scanned it once, that means that means this item has been sold out. Yeah, after that, this stock has gone out of stock. This new value for a number of the stock item is written back to the stock item record. After that, what will happen? It will be recorded there once again. The number of the stock item is compared to the reorder level. If it is less than or equal to this value, more stock items are automatically ordered. Now, what does that mean? For example, my reorder level was at thirty. My reorder level was at thirty. कि जैसे ही thirty के बराबर हो जाए, आज तक कंपनी रिफिल द स्टॉक. That means मैंने क्या कर दिया रिओर्डर कर दिया. Right now it's ninety nine. So is it going to reorder? No. Until and unless ये number reduce होके किस पे नहीं आ जाता, thirty पे नहीं आया था. Until and unless it's not going to reorder. As soon as it is at thirty, now it is going to reorder. ये क्या करेगा आपके पास reorder करता है. Once an order for more stock item is generated, a flag is added. Now over here this flag does not mean a physical flag जो हम लोग देखते हैं. Flag means a memory register is added over here that is going to stop the system to reorder it. अगेन एक दफा री ऑर्डर कर दिया मे बी जब वो थर्टी के ऊपर आया था सो फॉरी टॉल के ऊपर बाकी तीन आइटम्स मजीद आपके पास क्या हुआ सेल आउट हो गया डेट मीन अब इसकी करंट वैल्यू क्या हो गई ट्वेंटी सेवन हो गई सही है Now once it is ट्वेंटी सेवन तो क्या मतलब ट्वेंटी नाइन के ऊपर ट्वेंटी एट के ऊपर ट्वेंटी सेवन के ऊपर बार बार वो री ऑर्डर करेगा नो no. एक दफा जब उसने री ऑर्डर कर दिया तो वो वेट करेगा कि वो फिलअप हो जाए बार बार री ऑर्डर नहीं करेगा सो दिस फ्लैग इज गोइंग टू मेक इट Uh, confirm that you are not going to reorder it again and again. When new stock items arrive, the stock levels are updated in the database. Like for example, right now we were currently at twenty six, or I have made more. How many have I got? Fifty. So now what will I be? I will be at. I will be at seventy six now. How many numbers are there? I have seventy six. Is it clear to the way? To all, you guys. Yes or no? Clear हो गया? क्या चीज़ नहीं हमने? क्या चीज़? दोबारा पूछो।
Now moving ahead, advantages of using the barcodes to the management included. Now there are the advantages of the barcode to the management as well as to the customers. When it comes to the management, so there are few of the advantages. What are the advantages? What are the advantages? Management will get advantage. Okay. Apart from that, काम बच रहा है, time बच रहा है, क्या भी बहुत किस चीज़ का सामने हो रही है? अभी और बताते हैं आसानी है, error से भी हो जाएंगे, ज़्यादा customers को delete कर पाएंगे, निता, बहुत Now there are a few of the advantages on the barcode. Much easier and faster to change prices on the stock items. Okay, you do not need to individually change the price of each and every single item. Simply, you have to change the barcodes and change the whole data that you have to change with it. Okay? Much better, more up-to-date sales information, sales trends, which you have to have to do with it. No need to price every stock item on the shelf. This reduces time and cost, which you have to do with it. Okay? Allow for the automatic stock control. This number that you order, we order with this number. Okay. So over here, possible to check customer buying habits. Now, how are you going to check it out? For example, there are ten customers, and out of those ten customers, six were there. जिन्होंने आपके soft drinks के अंदर Coke की product purchase की, and four were there जिन्होंने Pepsi की products purchase की. So you can be aware of the fact कि आपके पास ज़्यादा किस चीज़ की requirement है Coke की products की आपके पास ज़्यादा requirement. Is that clear? Question यहाँ तक. Now these were the advantages to the management. Now there are few of the advantages to the customer as well. Now what are those advantages? Faster checkout queues. Obviously आपको checkout queues में कम time लगेगा. क्यों? क्योंकि आपके पास क्या कर रहा है? ज़्यादा जल्दी जल्दी क्या कर रहा होगा? Add कर रहा होगा and all. Errors in charging customers are reduced. Okay, there will be less chances of in charging of the customers. Calculation के chances आपके पास कम हो जाएँ. The customer is given an itemized bill. क्या हुआ एक itemized bill आपको मिलेगा? That you have purchased this much item. Okay, the cost of an item was this. Total cost is this. And for example, you have taken out any kind of the discount over there. So okay, total cost आपके तीन तीन discount होने का आपको इतनी amount पड़ रही है. Everything will be written over there. Then cost savings can be passed on to the customer. जो बात मैंने अभी करी कि अगर आपको वो discount मिल रहा है, तो ये वाली बात आ गई. Better tracks of sales by date, so food should be fresher. आपके पास क्या है? Sales है वो आपके पास क्या है कि fresh है, ठीक है? Okay now. Moving ahead. अब आपके पास क्या चीज़ आ रही है? अब हम आगे चलते हैं. There are the QR codes, the quick response codes. The quick response codes are far more better than the barcodes because as I told you right now that on the barcode can only contain. 30 digits. That means any information that can be in 30 digits, only these in, uh, this information can be gathered in a barcode. But when it comes to the QR codes, it may handle the values or the digits more than 7,000. 7,000 digits se bhi zada isme aa sakte hai. That means obviously kisme zada data aa raha hai? Barcode or the QR code? QR code ke andar zada data aa now the question comes in the past, but it how a barcode is better than a QR, sorry, how a QR code is better than a barcode. So number one point you may write that there are 30 digits in a barcode, whereas a QR code can contain up to 7,000 digits. It is easier to scan a QR code as it can be simply scanned by any digital camera, but for the barcodes you do require a barcode scanner and a proper uh, system or a proper software to Read that part. A call bar. That's for the barcode. Sorry. There is no need for the user to write down or key in the website addresses. Scanning the QR code does this automatically. For a barcode, you, do, you need to go on that particular desktop application. This way, you have the barcode scan. But for the QR code, as soon as you are going to scan a QR code, that's you have the information. Sorry, you have the website to where you have the requirement. Okay, now QR code may contain the URLs. That means the uniform social data, and you have addresses, but you have the barcode. Is it clear till over there? No issue. No issue, you have Nida, beta. Clear? No, you don't know. I have a question. 
जैसे ही मैं किसी भी बार क्यू आर कोड को स्कैन करता हूँ मुझे पर्टिकुलरली उस वेबसाइट के ऊपर लेके चला जाता फॉर एग्जाम्पल आजकल पाकिस्तान के अंदर गोल गोलो और ये तमाम क्यू आर कोड्स आ रहे होते हैं जैसे तुम उनको स्कैन करती हो वो पर्टिकुलरली उस एप्लीकेशन के ऊपर तो मैं डायरेक्टली ले जाता हूँ ऐसा है ये स्कैन व्हाट्सएप के ऊपर हाँ सही व्हाट्सएप के ऊपर अगर वो बोलते हैं स्कैन द क्यू आर कोड अगर मुझे व्हाट्सएप ऐप खोल लें तो पर्टिकुलरली मुझे पे डायरेक्टली वहीं पर ले जाते हैं क्लियर हो जाए बात डिजिटल कैमरा Now coming towards the digital camera again, they are the type of the non-keyboard input devices. You are just going to simply press a button to click a picture. Have a button press, telling you that picture click on it. Okay. Now when it comes to the digital cameras, so for the digital cameras, there are few of the advantages, and they were introduced to beat the traditional cameras. So introduced to why? Because they were traditional cameras. Se को खत्म करने के लिए इनको इंट्रोड्यूस करवाया गया था व्हाट वर द ट्रेडिशनल कैमरा द ट्रेडिशनल कैमरा वर द टाइप ऑफ द कैमरा दैट यूज द फिल्म एंड दैट फिल्म वर हैविंग 30 टू 36 पिक्चर्स इन इट अब आपके पास वही पिक्चर होती थी आप से उसी में से कर सकते थे एंड दीस पिक्चर्स वर नोन एज द नेगेटिव्स ब्राउन कलर के आप लोगों के पास क्या होते थे नेगेटिव होते थे यू गाइस माइट हैव सीन आप लोगों ने शायद उसको देखा होगा पुराने जमाने के अंदर वो चीज यूटिलाइज बट नाउ वी कैन टू नो अबाउट द डीएसएलआर दैट दे आर दीज आर द डिजिटल कैमरास और इन डिजिटल कैमरास के अंदर आपके पास एडवांटेज क्या होता है दैट यू कैन इजीली स्कैन अ पिक्चर आप क्या कर सकते हैं बहुत इजीली एक सॉरी यू कैन इजीली हैव अ पिक्चर नॉट स्कैन यू कैन क्लिक अ पिक्चर देयर आर फ्यू ऑफ द एडवांटेजेस मोर एडवांटेजेस व्हाट आर दोस एडवांटेजेस नंबर वन एडजस्ट द शटर स्पीड आपके पास क्या करेगा शटर स्पीड को एडजस्ट कर लेगा दैट मीन हाउ मेनी पिक्चर्स यू नीड टू क्लिक इन अ पर्टिकुलर टाइम डोमेन एक सेकंड में एक मिनट में आप कितनी पिक्चर्स को क्लिक कर सकते हैं फोकस इज द इमेज ऑटोमेटिकली आगे वाली इमेज को जो पर्टिकुलर इमेज है उसको फोकस कर लेगा बाकी पीछे की एरिया को क्या कर देगा ब्लर कर ऑपरेट द फ्लैश ऑटोमेटिकली फ्लैश आपके पास ऑटोमेटिकली ऑपरेट करेगा If there is a requirement for the flash, it will open up. If there is no requirement for the flash, it will close down. Adjust the aperture size. That means the frame size. Adjust the size of the image. Image ki size ko koi focus karne ho to remove red eyes. Now when it comes to the traditional cameras, so traditional cameras ke andar jab bhi aap kya karte the, uh, flash on karte the, to flash on karne ke liye sirf iski aap picture click karte the, to iski eyes red ho jaati thi, red ko lag jata. But DSLR ne is cheez ko khatam kar diya. Okay? Now, how are you going to click a picture in a DSLR or a digital camera? So it says the photograph is captured when light passes through a lens onto a light-sensitive elements. These light-sensitive elements are known as the pixels. And as we already knew, that pixel is something the smallest element of an image. Or resolution, मेरे पास क्या चीज होती है? Number of the pixels in the width multiplied with number of the pixels in the length. या फिर आप तो कह सकते हैं total number of the pixels present in an image is known as the resolution okay now the cell is made of the tiny elements known as the pixels now pixels are charged they might be either positively charged or they might be either negatively charged so this is how when so as you are going to click a picture wo aapke paas kya karte hai light sensitive elements ke andar convert hoti hai aur lenses mein se guzar ke aapke paas ek image uski digitalized form ke andar convert ओके आपको एक इमेज शो हो जाता है क्लियर नाउ द क्वेश्चन कम्स इन योर पास पेपर्स दैट्स ऑफ 2005 2005 के अंदर आपके पास सवाल आया हुआ था दैट व्हाट डज द क्वालिटी ऑफ द पिक्चर मेनली डिपेंड्स ऑन दैट वाज अ वन मार्क इफ इट इज इफ इट इज अ वन मार्क सो द आंसर वाज द टाइप ऑफ द लेंस यूज्ड क्योंकि एक नंबर का था तो मेनली किसी चीज के ऊपर डिपेंड करिए द टाइप ऑफ द लेंस यूज किस टाइप का लेंस इस्तेमाल किया गया इस चीज के ऊपर डिपेंड करता है ठीक है बट अगर गाइस आर अनएबल टू रिमेंबर दैट पर्टिकुलर थिंग तो आप दूसरी चीज भी लिख सकते हैं द लाइटिंग नाउ दैट विल बी ऑन द एग्जामिनर मे बी ही मे अवार्ड यू द मार्क और मे बी ही विल ही मे नॉट लेकिन उसके आप उसके बाद एक ऑप्शन छोड़ देंगे इट्स फार मोर बेटर देन लीविंग इट ब्लैंक ब्लैंक छोड़ने से काफी ज्यादा बेहतर है कि आप उसमें कुछ ना कुछ लिख दें लेकिन कुछ ना कुछ हर चीज के मतलब नहीं है कि आप उसके अंदर कुछ भी लिख दें नो इट शुड बी रिलेटेड टू द क्वेश्चन नाउ अगर वो आपसे दो नंबर के लिए पूछ लेता है व्हाट इज द क्वालिटी ऑफ द इमेज मेनली डिपेंड सॉरी डिपेंड्स ऑन मेनली का वर्ड इस्तेमाल नहीं करता है सो यू आर गोइंग टू राइट टू पॉइंट्स इट्स अ लाइटिंग एंड द टाइप ऑफ द लेंस यूज्ड क्लियर टू ऑल ऑफ यू 
कोई इशू यहाँ तक एनी वन निदा Now we are coming towards the keyboards. Simply, we all have utilized the keyboards. When it comes to the keyboards, the keyboards मैकेनिकल की बोर्ड्स If I'm mistaken in the spelling, so you guys may correct it by yourself. Okay. And mechanical, ergonomical, Braille keyboards, and the last one is the classical keyboards. Mechanical number one. कौन सी कीबोर्ड होते हैं आपके पास मैकेनिकल कीबोर्ड आर द कीबोर्ड्स दैट आर बेसिकली यूटिलाइज्ड फॉर द गेमिंग पर्पस गेमिंग पर्पस के लिए जो कीबोर्ड आपका यूटिलाइज हो रहे हैं दे आर नोन एज द मैकेनिकल कीबोर्ड्स ठीक है एरगोनॉमिकल कीबोर्ड्स दे आर यूटिलाइज्ड टू रिमूव द अ पर्टिकुलर डिजीज दैट इज नोन एज आई कैन आस्क यू एनी आईडिया आर एस आर Repetitive strain injury. Now, what do you mean by the terminology repetitive strain injury? Repetitive strain injury is something that you, if you are writing on the keyboard, then your wrist pain starts. This is known as the repetitive strain injury. Injury does not mean that until your phone doesn't get injured, there is no injury. No. If you are injured, you are injured. 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 आसान से नहीं हो ब्रेडी कीबोर्ड्स नाउ दीज आर द टाइप ऑफ द कीबोर्ड्स दैट आर यूटिलाइज्ड फॉर फॉर द ब्लाइंड पर्सन इसके लिए इस्तेमाल हो गया आपके पास ब्लाइंड पर्सन देयर आर कीज ओवर देयर एंड द लेटर्स ऑन दोस कीज आर एम्बोस्ड एम्बोस्ड का मतलब है थोड़े से उभरे हैं ठीक है अब आप जैसे ही उसको टच सॉरी आप भी जो भी ब्लाइंड पर्सन है जो भी उसको टच करेगा तो वो आपके पास उसको पता चल जाएगा ठीक है then classical keyboards what are the classical keyboards simple keyboards that are we uh, let we guys are utilizing in our daily life ye aapke paas kaun se keyboards kehlate hain classical keyboards kehlate hain mechanical purpose ki aapke paas jo hai wo sirf aur sirf gaming purpose ke liye istemal hote hain agar in keyboards ko tum dekhoge to inki keys as compared to the classical keyboards zyada soft hoti hain there are springs over there inke andar zyada functions hote hain inko hum kai kabhi kabhar multimedia keyboards bhi kehte hain Let it lower. So that's all for today, and inshallah, in the next class we will be winding up this topic with the input devices. Thank you so much, guys. Allah bless.